Okay, I've got my ejection canister on and my terminal block on. Um, and I have test fitted in the rocket and everything is fine where it is. Um, so my next thing is to run wires from this terminal block to the altimeter. So this one, uh, usually on your altimeter or your eBay, you have one set of wires that's short because you don't plan on taking this bulkhead off. In fact, this bulkhead, um, taking it off would be rather hard because of that nut over here on this side. Um, so we're gonna make this one short and then this side we're gonna make long. And the reason we wanna make it long is we wanna be able to pull this off and then reach in there and um, there's going to be a connector um, that will allow us to separate the bulkhead completely so that we can take the bulkhead completely out of the uh, tube coupler. So we wanna make the wires here long enough so that when it's in the tube coupler and we pull it off a little bit, we can reach in and disconnect the connector that's gonna be on that end. Um, so for this end, we'll start with wires that are gonna be fairly short. Um, so I need to go, go through this right here. And well, first let me strip these because I'll, I'll connect them right to the terminal block. Okay, so then this one will go into this side. And we'll just, oops. We'll screw it down. Where's my screwdriver? Here it is. Not that one. This, um, this tube runs all the way through, um, but we only need to get it halfway. That's good. We'll do it with the red wire. Okay, and then pull these. All right. And then on this end, um, the bottom side um, is going to be, you know, like, like I said before, this side with this is going to be my top. This is going to be my bottom. And so my main chute will be near the bottom. No, actually my main chute's in the top. My drogue chute's in the the uh, bottom. So that's going to go to the Apogee terminal here on this terminal block. And I'm going to have a little bit of slack in there. And I'll cut these. And then we'll go into my Apogee, which is right here. Again, these are not polarity, so I can go uh, either color into either one. All right, so now we're gonna use, we're gonna have some wires coming out of here, and I'll probably make them uh, that long. And that's gonna go into this right here, which is my connector. And this thing, uh, this connector, 
um, one you have blue on one side and then blue on the other. So whatever wires you put on here um, have to come out here. So when you do it the other side, they're going to be kind of reversed. And I'll show you that in just a second. So I'm going to put my you, to use these, you don't even need to strip them. You just push them all the way in. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, so then they're all the way in, and then you're going to smash them down with a pair of pliers, and it will automatically make the connection. And once they're in, they're in permanently. They're not coming out. And a lot of people ask, can you reuse these? The answer is no. <laughs> um, okay, so then the other end will go to my main charge. And you might want to twist these if you want. it a little bit nicer looking. Okay, so here on my altimeter, that's the main. Okay, so that's hooked up. Um, then we're going to do this side. sure you give a good tug on that to make sure they're not going to come out on you. This black one doesn't seem to be in all the way. Okay, so that's in. Now, so this, I want, I got plenty of wire, so I'll probably just cut it right there. And I'll twist these.
Okay, so I'm going to put these together. Okay, and then on this side I have black, so I want my black. They're not really polarity sensitive, but um, it makes sense, you know, so I have black on the outside, red on the inside. There you go, just like that. So now we can finally assemble everything. Remember that washer has to go on there. Um, we're going to slide this through. Make sure it's long enough to come out because that's the, the important thing. Connect that together. And then we're going to slide this into it. You're going to hook up your battery, of course. Um, So then, it's just a matter of lining up our slots on this end. If everything goes together. Twisting on the lifting nut. Okay, so that's good. And then you have to look down in the hole and, and spin the whole thing. Don't tighten it so tight that you can't spin it. You want to spin it around until you can see that um, switch. Okay, so there's my switch right in the hole. I doubt you can see that, but it's in there. And to turn it on and off, I'll just stick a pencil or something inside, feel around until I can feel it going on and off. Um, all right, so now our igniters, I think I used to have some igniters here. When, you, when it comes ready to hook up your igniters, um, you'll, you'll go to your terminal blocks on the other side. Got to split the wire here. Get it started. All right, just like that. And that's going to go into this side of the terminal block. and give a good tug on that. And then that's going to go into the ejection charge well like that with your black powder and a little cap. And we'll just use uh, masking tape as our cap just to hold everything in. And then all that will just get bundled up just like that. You'll do the same thing on this side. And then you all your, your, um, your ejection charges are ready to go. Um, so, our next step is basically final assembly, hooking up all the shock cords, attaching the parachutes, and then we're like really close to being able to launch this thing. So thanks for watching. My name again is Tim Van Milligan. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, may all your rockets fly straight and true.